Hello CTE teachers. On today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to link items on your OneDrive account to your assignments on Canvas. There are a few benefits to this. Primarily, it's the fact that anything that you put on your OneDrive account and that you make updates for at any point in time will be automatically updated on Canvas. Here's what I mean. Let's say that you go and make a PowerPoint that you want your students to view and you place it on an assignment in Canvas by uploading that file. If you go and add three more slides to that PowerPoint, you have to physically go and upload the updated file all over again. However, if you just go and link it from your OneDrive account, anytime you add anything to that PowerPoint or delete slides to that PowerPoint, whatever it may be, it's going to be automatically updated, so it's going to be less work for you. So doing that's going to be pretty easy. I just want to show you guys an example of how I do that. So over here in front of me, I have a simulation practice resource page for my Photoshop um, certification students. They basically have to go and practice similar questions to that which they would encounter on their certification test. So what I did is I provided a link to a shared folder with Photoshop files and it takes them straight to my OneDrive account so that they can go and download those Photoshop files as they need to when we're working on it in class. So you guys can see here in my OneDrive, there are several files in this particular folder in my OneDrive. And what students can do is now that they have access to the shared folder is they can go and download whatever file we're working on. So if I tell them we're gonna work on file 35 here, PSDQ35, they would just go and click on it and download it on their individual computers. And let's say I go and delete Q35 and I add, I don't know, Q40, it'll be automatically updated for me. So that's really helpful. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. I'm gonna go into my planning course real quick. And this time, instead of creating an assignment, I think what I'm going to do is create a resource page. I'm going to do that by going to my Practice Makes Perfect module, and I'm going to click on the plus sign to add the resource page to it. Under Add, I'm going to select from the drop-down menu a page. And to give you guys a little bit more feedback on what a page is, it's basically um, just information that you want to supply your students. So they're not going to be able to submit something on a page because it's just stuff that they're viewing. It's not an actual task that they're completing. But anyway, I'm going to click on new page and I'm just going to call this one Photoshop certification practice. And I'm going to add that item. Now, this is the empty shell of the page. So I'm going to click on the title. And just like when we create an assignment, I'm going to need to access the rich content editor by clicking the edit button with the pencil. Now, this is a page, not an assignment, which is why when I scroll down, there's no options for how I would be, um, how students would be submitting this or how I would be grading it. Okay. Just the page, just the content. That's it. So what I want to do is I want to provide students a little bit of more information about what they're going to be accessing in my OneDrive account. So I might type something up like this, like, please go to the Photoshop certification shared folder to download your practice files. Now. I need to decide here where is the link going to be placed, right? So what I want to do is I want to go and highlight the exact term or phrase that the link is going to be placed into. So in this case, Photoshop certification shared folder. Now you might be wondering what link we haven't gotten a link. I'm going to go into my OneDrive account here and I know all my Photoshop files are right here in this folder called PSD simulation files. So I'm going to select it by clicking the check mark next to the file name. And at the top, I'm going to select share. 
I want to keep it simple. I want everybody who has the link to be able to view it. So I'm going to select anyone with the link. And I'm going to select apply. Okay, so anyone with a link can view. I'm going to select copy link. Copy. And then when I go back to Canvas, in my rich content editor, I'm going to look for the link icon that looks like a chain link, link to URL. And I'm going to paste that in control V like victory to place, insert. And because it's blue, and when I hover my mouse over it, I can see it wants to take me to another page. Um, I know I placed the link successfully. Now here's what I want. I don't want students to go and create um, a separate tab and I don't want them to go and navigate away from this page. So having now created the link, I'm just gonna place my cursor anywhere on this line where the link is. Press Control K in my keyboard. And under target, I'm going to select new window so that the students won't have to open a new tab. When they click on the link, it's already going to navigate to a brand new window for them. So, okay, save, and now I'm going to test what I just did. All right, so here's my page so far. It looks pretty boring because all I have is a sentence, but I just want to test the link. So I'm going to cl go click on the link and it successfully takes me to a brand new page. So the student would, didn't have to go and open a new tab or anything like that. So now when I tell them in class, I need you to download PSDQ1 so we can practice it together, it's all gonna be linked for me in the actual resource page. So I hope that helps and helping you guys to create links from your OneDrive account so that students can always get the most automatically updated information possible. Bye.